Hey guys, we'll be back into our second video programming where we're going to be learning another few stuffs which we're going to be putting into our programming skill uh, in uh, C++. Now this was our first programming video. Yes, now I would like us to learn another few stuffs before we go into any further. And that's what known as the backslash characters. Now if you try to cross check, this is our first statement. If I happen to write here down and I try to put another statement uh, down which enables us to print the following maybe hello world um learning c plus plus with always p pro if that's it now you'll discover that uh, this what will happen in this statement if i happen to save and i compile this program that's no problem because it will compile and running to run something like that but you'll discover that all your statement will be in one c one line maybe that's not what you want we expected to have just that program in different lines to do so you can do come in here just under this this you can put us one on us account simple term uh, then you echo out what on us uh, backslash n now we have that will brings us into something known as the backslash characters what are they before me by do any further the backslash characters they add some functionalities into our program give assumption this backslash n this backslash t this backslash a now i may simply just show you three or two types of backslash characters then the rest my friends you can find them or more uh, you may find them then you guys who are requesting for the book you can uh, send me your gmail account i send you the book you get to just comment down the below and you quest for the book i can always uh, send the books to you on your gmail accounts for anyone interested to get books please make sure you send me your email address after subscribing i give you the book for c plus plus now i said we have what on us a backslash n backslash t and backslash a whereby backslash n means go to the new line now what does it mean if i tell you use it here to tell this statement after this statement running after the compiling the statement when this statement comes in now it will tell the statement that please go to the next new line then the backslash t simply to just going to make a tab like this within a program we are going to see that and then backslash a with backslash a simply it's going to make a kind of alert alert or sound in our program now my friend without wasting time let me show you that uh, we start with backslash n i save my program so let me save it and then we we'll try to compile otherwise it's going to make this statement be in the independent lines if i compile here hope there's no error and try to run it i think guys you have seen it has made the first statement to be on a new line and the next statement to go to a different line and that's it so backslash n you can use any within the program no matter where so as long as you insert the double quotes so if you happen to add another stuff there backslash n within just there it will make uh, during the time of compilation this one will be in the new line when it comes in here to see this statement in a new line for making this one to be in the new line and when the backslash n again is reached to it's going to force this statement to go to the next new line just like this if i happen to compile this program and happen to run i think you have seen we have happened to make three lines now members that's how it is like now let me also come back in here and i show you how to use backslash t i've said if you try to compare this first statement and happen to run it it happened to be like this you get have this hello world i'm doing c plus plus with osp pro now that's it so we also have a backslash t i've said backslash t is just makes up a tab so you can put it anywhere within the program you can give it there and I say backslash t if i try to give it there it's going to give my statement a little bit a tab to my program i think i've seen it has extended my program a little bit and that's it so if I, you can give as many times as you want until maybe where you expect your program to be if you want your program to be in the middle then it will be approximate like that so if i happen to come back compile this program I think it will do the same thing whereby to try to expand my statement next to uh, giving it a, a tab so you can even apply to this other statement uh, to try to push it in front now the backslash a simply it makes a lot 
I give assumption I just have to put it maybe somewhere within there, anywhere there. I hope you'll hear some sound if I told my machine is okay. Hope so. So if I happen to run, I think there's some sound. Just repeat once more again. Hope you have heard guys. Thanks for watching our first uh, video before maybe I wind up. This backslash T, backslash A, you can give anywhere, like backslash N. If you don't want to give it there, you can also give your backslash N uh, inside here, in front here. You can give there backslash N. Still do the same thing. Otherwise, it will force this statement after compiling this to make this one go to the next new line. Simply that. So guys, that's it. So please make sure you subscribe to my pro uh, my programming video for C++. Subscribe, uh, comment down, and I said those guys who want the book, please you can always uh, send in your... After subscribing, you can always comment down on my channel so that guys, I can give you one. Thanks guys for watching. Love you.